All right, so uh, welcome back to War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. So I may have made a little mistake, and um, I did Battle 6 when I wasn't recording. So, however, I do think that we can go back and watch that, if I am correct. Yes, we can. Um, so we'll have to go and do that. Uh, my mistake, I don't know, I thought I was, but I wasn't. But that's okay. The one thing, though, that I'm kind of looking at now, though, is who I'm going to focus on leveling. I was kind of thinking of doing Stern, um, but the problem is, right now, to limit break him, I still need quite a few more of his shards. But the problem is, to awaken him, I need a ton of these rainbow shards. The other thing, too, that I'm kind of contemplating is sh focusing on... Gilgamesh, because I can limit break him once, and I can also awaken him maybe, probably only once, because I probably don't have enough of these Ice Awakening Prisms. Um, but the reason for that, though, is because it looks like they're going to add a second, we're going here to the notices, um... Gilgamesh's second character quest and second master ability available June 3rd. So he's going to get a second master ability. So I'm kind of tempted to kind of focus on him because I'm assuming that master ability is probably going to be at level 60. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, let's go and watch that quick scene that um, I accidentally skipped. And then we'll jump right back into the story missions here. And I actually didn't watch this scene myself fully because I noticed I wasn't recording. Why have you taken pity on these scoundrels? If I had them killed, the alliance with Wazette would be well and truly severed. Mont, you are still soft as a newborn babe. A dog left untamed come back to bite you in the future boy we do not know them the only way to keep our alliance intact is to cut through them but father king elder speaks wisely you agree with him i am simply speaking the truth King Kuri believes that only an alliance with Fennis can ensure Wizette's survival. There is not he would not do to ensure that it comes to fruition. Does he feel so threatened by the alliance between Fennis and Horn? He does indeed. Yet that threat is already dissipated. Their allegiance is no more. What? Is that true? I too am simply speaking the truth. If that is indeed the case, then surely you would be welcomed. At least, publicly. Publicly? It may sound odd what I'm about to tell you, but... I think it would be best if you did not place your trust in King Kuri. After all, the King trusts no one. Not even Lady Glacella. Hmm. Well, if their troops are telling us not to trust him... That's a telling sign, right? Okay, so let's get out of here. Um, I guess we go to the... Yeah, we'll just go right back into the story here. White Wolf's Distant Castle 1. And again, there's still nothing all that interesting showing up in the obtainable things. We've only ever had one... Um, mega rare weapon, and it was like a platinum staff, so, but we've never seen anything else. I keep looking though, just in case. Was that castle still hasn't come into view? Not yet. It seems that King Elder's wound is much deeper than I suspected. 
Yes, it is. We must hurry. I fear that without aid, he will soon be lost. Let us make haste for the castle. All right, that was a quick little scene. Um, hmm. And there hasn't really been, I don't know, the game's been a little slow so far with events and stuff like that. So I'm hoping it kind of picks up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know, maybe they'll add like a one based on one of the Final Fantasies. That'd be kind of neat too, because that's the only collaboration. Well, I guess they had a Final Fantasy Tactics collaboration, but it was too bad that they didn't have like story missions to go with it. It was just a bunch of just random grinding quests. Um, the Shadowbringers one was kind of the same thing too, but those are the only two collaborations we've had. We've had Shadowbringers, which was a launch event, and Final Fantasy Tactics. But the only one that's had any story missions with it was this little side story, the Amicable Prince, which I actually really enjoyed. I hope they do more of those, because we've only had one so far in like two months that this game has been out, maybe more now. So... And like the story stuff, they tend to add characters with them, which is kind of neat too. Alright, Wolf's Distant Castle number two. I should probably take a companion. I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> I'm just so used to not taking one, I think, is the issue here. Um... Because grinding missions, I just I usually auto battle them, where it just um, or auto repeat them, where it just does the missions over and over, and so you can't really bring a companion when you're doing that. My Stern's getting pretty strong though, but my Frederica and Gilgamesh are pretty weak, and it's because I haven't been focusing on them. I will be happy with my team once I get Frederick and Gilgamesh some, gives them some love, but right now I'm pretty happy with my Eileen. Stern's kind of there already where I'm pretty happy with him too, and Medina's fantastic. I still need, I think, like 160 shards to fully limit break, or to fully rank, or get her fully strengthened up so she can hit level 99, but um, that's still going to be a ways away. It's a lot of shards. So, but she's getting there. She's definitely closer than anybody else by a long shot. No story on that one. Alright, to take the throne. Okay. Who are we gonna take to take the throne? Let's take... Alright, we'll take another Sid here.
Come to think of it, you mentioned that King Kuri doesn't trust Glacella, right? Right. Are they not father and daughter? I don't see why. Lord Mont, you know the truth of Lady Glacella's birth mother, correct? I do. She is not a child born of the Queen. Precisely. Before Lady Glacella was born, King Kuri's queen bore him a prince. Alas, there was a power struggle regarding the claim to the throne, culminating in the prince's assassination. So it was then decided that Lady Glacella, who was born in the aftermath of the struggle, would inherit the throne. However, like the murdered prince before her, Lady Glacella became the target of an assassination plot. <laughs> Against all odds, Lady Glacella struck back against numerous hardships and won, securing her position as successor to the throne. That is where this tale should have ended. But there's more to tell? King Curry had terms for Lady Glacella if she were to be crowned queen. Hmm. That doesn't surprise me. But I'm curious what those terms were. I don't know if we'll find out just yet, though. The one thing that I find really odd though about the units is like why Gilgamesh is considered like a higher tier than everybody. Because again, one shard a day for him versus two for all my other ultra rares. And his shards in the shop cost double what everybody else's shards cost as well, which is really annoying. And I honestly don't think he's much stronger than the other units. Like, he's good, but because of the fact that he's so hard to get strengthened up, it makes him not as good, I guess? In an indirect way? Alright, to take the throne number two. Do not hire a companion, that's not a problem. Make a chain of two or more, that's usually kind of annoying to do. Because I have to kind of set that up. And I usually bring Thancred for that, because he's got a hit that hits twice, which is kind of convenient. But because we don't care about fully completing this mission, we will just take a companion anyway. I could do it with Thancred. Because hmm. I uh, use Thancred's ability plus Stern, and it's done. Um, hmm. Problem is, if Thancred hits too hard, then it's kind of a problem. Whatever, we'll take him. It's prob I'm probably, well, actually, it could either be with Stern or with um, Gilgamesh. They both have slashy attacks. King Kuri had terms for Glacella? Surely you don't mean that rejecting those terms would cost her the crown. That is precisely what I mean. What exactly were those terms? All of Lady Glacella's relatives were to be executed. What did you... Why would King Kuri force such cruel terms upon his daughter? It really is rather simple. Lady Glacella's mother was not of royal birth, nor was she noble of blood. Oh, for the sake of a bloodline? Why would that even be relevant? But it is. 
the royal subjects would likely not be very understanding. <laughs> For them to be made to serve a queen whose blood is mixed with that of a lowborn, those royal subjects would consider it incredibly humiliating. One need not think hard on the matter to understand. In other words, King Kuri set those terms to seal away the secret of Lady Glacella's birth. For that reason alone, he ordered the slaughter of her mother and siblings? What a fool! Naturally, Lady Glacella refused to go along with such unfair terms. Causing her relationship with King Kuri to sour? Would that it were a mere souring. Lady Glacella took command of her personal battalion, Spirare, and disappeared from the royal palace. You jest. Wizette will likely be split in two before long. Do you mean there will be a civil war? King Kuri has made his decision. He believed that your engagement to Glacella would spur you and all of Leonis to join her side. So that's why he ordered you to kill us. That is not the only reason. If Wizette were to gain control of the ring you bear, Lord Mont, then our Ikito would become a mighty army to rival even Solidus, the pride of Horn. With such an army, King Kuri would no longer have to bend the knee to Sodali. Precisely, Lord Mont. That explains the hasty alliance with Fennis. The situation is far more complicated than I had foreseen. Bearing all this in mind, Lord Mont, would you still be escorted to Wazette Castle? <sighs> yes. Our options have not grown. So what other choice do we have? Hmm. Well, things are not looking so great. And it's like always like a web of, I don't know, lies and deceit and power-hungry people. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's in a pretty tough situation, but King Curry seems pretty unreasonable, though. Oh, that's right, we brought Thancred. Mm. And it looks like they have his sub-job as a Dragoon, which is not great, I don't think. Oh wow, Gilgamesh actually killed something. Good job, buddy. The eyeball is going to move before Thancred actually gets down. That's unfortunate. Oh, Eileen took out two units, though. That was pretty good. Oh, wait. The other eyeball moved. Perfect. This actually works out well. Although I don't know if uh, Medina will... Yeah, I didn't think Medina would kill an ice unit that easily. Alright, there we go. I wonder if we'll get a little bonus scene here to kind of set up the next scene. Nope, oh, maybe. R reporting, Your Highness! A company of monks is headed this way. It is highly likely that they are being led by Sadali. Oh, is that so? Is it possible that he has grown suspicious of us? No, sir. We haven't observed any indication that they doubt our intentions. Then we might catch them off guard. What of Muraga? There's been no sight of Muraga. 
or any of Fennis's soldiers for that matter. Perhaps Fennis remains on the battlefield. King Rob. Hmm. It would seem Sodaly plans to return to Dynver Cathedral. That would be most favorable. Now I, King Rob of Horn, shall repay them in kind for their crimes of deception. Inform the army! We march in full force! We will storm into battle against the monks of the Sanctum! Tremble them into the dirt! Paint the earth red with the miserable bastard's blood! Uh oh. Raw King Rob is not happy at all. Hmm. I don't know if marching on Sodaly is a good idea though. I feel like that's gonna end bad for Horn. Well, to be continued, so that's the end of uh, scene two for chapter six. Um not sure there's anything else really to do right now. I mean the events right now, like I said, are kind of dull. I do have a bunch of missions here I do need to claim, so we'll claim all that. Um, and so this is like every day. Like this takes actually quite a bit of time to be able to get the three chests. Although I do feel it's important because you get 10 Vizwar there. And you get another 50 Vizwar and these 10 Royal Points, which as a free player... Although we did finish Chapter 6, we get... The, the thing is these Azure Vision Spheres are... I don't need those. I need the Rainbow ones. But 500 Vizwar is nice. Um, oh yeah, and I finally finished the monthly mission for the arena, which is do do 130 duels in the arena. But you can only do five a day. So and that gives us a rainbow fragment, which those are used for awakening characters. So I do still need to figure out some of these events here, because that's a bit of Vizwar as well. Um... And yeah, uh, actually, you know what? We can do a summon, I think, because I think we got a summoning ticket. So I might do that real quick. Um, it's probably under here. No. Ticket summon list. Select ticket. Oh. Wow, well, looks like they're just select element magicite. For enhancing espers. Eight elements. For 50 awakening prisms. I might do that, actually, because I do need the ice ones, so we'll do that. And that way we'll get Gilgamesh a little closer. Okay, that's kind of silly that it gives us a cutscene for what we already know what we're going to get. I honestly thought that the select ticket that I got was for summoning a character, but I guess not. Huh, that's unfortunate. I think that's it there. I guess we'll have to wait till we get something else that's interesting. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.